it's the year 2021. Deep in the heart of an ancient castle in Turkey, archaeologists are on the brink of a mind-bending discovery. With each shovel of dirt, they're unearthing secrets that defy explanation. As they delve deeper into the earth, their excitement mounts. Suddenly, their spades strike something hard. With bated breath, they carefully brush away the dirt, revealing a badge. But not just any badge. This badge carries the emblem of the United States, its design dating back to 18th century. How could a symbol from a nation founded less than three centuries ago find its way into the depths of a castle that has lain forgotten for over 1,000 years? There's more. Amidst the castle's ancient ruins, they uncover a hidden chamber, very first Roman temple dedicated to Mithras, the deity of infinite time. While some theorists connect the badge to Mithras, entertaining the notion of time travel, others remain skeptical. Yet, amidst the debate, one fact remains undeniable. The mystery persists, refusing to be easily resolved. So, are you ready to embark on an adventure through time and unravel the secrets concealed within the ancient castle's walls? Join us as we journey into the past and uncover the truth together. Zezevan Castle, located in Turkey's Diyarbakir province, sits strategically in the southeast. Dating back to the Assyrian period, the castle, originally known as Kinabu, overlooked an ancient road vital for trade and military use. Throughout the Persian period and to the present day, this route, crossing Iran, Iraq and Turkey, has been known as the Royal Road. It played a crucial role in the Roman Empire's eastern expeditions and the Sassanids' western ventures. Major conflicts occurred along this path, notably during the Sassanid campaigns of 359 and 604 AD, leading to the capture of Zerzavan Castle. As the eastern border stronghold of the Roman Empire, Zerzavan witnessed intense struggles between Rome and the Sassanids, competing for control over the region's economy, politics and military. Serving as a military settlement, excavations at Zerzavan have uncovered artifacts shedding light on the daily lives of Roman soldiers and civilians, as well as the battles they fought. Within the castle's fortified southern area lie remains of observation and defensive towers, churches, administrative buildings, an arsenal and a rock altar. Outside the walls, canals, offering bowls and quarries dot the landscape, while the necropolis boasts rock and vaulted tombs. Street alleys and residential structures characterize the northern sector, while various mysterious features such as water cisterns, an underground church, a shelter, a mithraeum, and other unidentified structures add to the site's allure. A hidden room lies beneath Zerzavan Castle, carved deep into the rock at the north end of the walls, it's a Mithraeum, a secret place from long ago. Strange writings and symbols mark the entrance, hints of what lies within. The east wall is decorated. Carved columns frame two big niches, with smaller ones on either side. In the center niche, 
A carving shows a sacrificed bull, forever trapped in stone. Traces of paint linger on a belt above the columns in the big niche, a faint reminder of past ceremonies. One small niche holds a creepy bowl, worn smooth, for blood sacrifice, they say. A pool on the floor reflects it, connected by a channel cut through the wall. Water, some believe, was important in Mithras rituals. Eerie details emerge from the ceiling. Four points are spaced evenly, perfect for hanging things. Maybe these were used to hoist animals during rituals. The blood draining into the bowls below. Were these the spots where they hung the sacrificed bulls? The whole place whispers of the past. The worn stone tells stories of the 3rd century AD. Things found during digs hint at a powerful but secretive religion. The Mithraeum of Zerzavan Castle, a dark reminder of a forgotten faith. In the shadowy corners of the Roman Empire, a secret religion thrived, the cult of Mithras. This god, whispered to be of Persian origin, embodied ideas of contracts and friendship, a mediator in a world of chaos. He wasn't just a friend though, Mithras was the sun itself, its warmth and life-giving power. He was also the symbol of war, justice and infinite time. For centuries, from the 2nd to the 3rd century AD, Mithras's light burned brightest within the Roman legions. Soldiers far from home and hearth found solace in the unwavering gaze of this enigmatic god. Deep within the earth, in hidden caverns carved from living rock, they practiced secret ceremonies. These Mithraea, as they were called, were dark and mysterious places, echoing with rituals unseen by outsiders. Mithraea were found all over the Roman Empire. They have been discovered in countries such as the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, France, Turkey, Greece, Iraq and Libya. The Mithraeum in London is believed to be the westernmost, while the one in Zerzivan, Turkey, is considered to be the easternmost. Only men were allowed to join this brotherhood. They had to pass seven tests, each pushing them to the limit. Then came twelve persecutions challenges designed to strengthen their spirit and commitment to Mithras. What exactly happened in these ceremonies remains a mystery, lost to time. Some believe a sacred bull was sacrificed, a powerful symbol in their beliefs. The details of these rites remain shrouded, whispers lost on the wind. Some speak of a sacred bull its sacrifice a potent symbol of Mithras' role in conquering chaos and establishing cosmic order. But as the 4th century dawned, a new light rose, the sun of Christianity. The old gods flickered and faded, Mithras was among them. His temples fell silent, his mysteries buried beneath the sands of time. Deep within the ancient Zezevan castle, home to the very first Mithraeum in the world, a strange discovery shakes things up. Buried beneath layers of Roman history, archaeologists unearth a badge unlike anything they've ever seen. Made from an odd metal, the badge shows a powerful eagle with wings spread wide. On its chest, 
An inscription in Latin language reads, E pluribus unum, something about unity from many. But this symbol of a faraway land, a place that wouldn't exist for centuries, is buried beneath the Roman stones of Zezevan. Experts are baffled. This kind of badge shouldn't be here. Tests show it was made with techniques unknown in Roman times. It's like a piece of the future got stuck in the past. I touch Koshkun, the head of the excavation team, said that they have found the badge deep within the eastern walls, buried over four feet or 125 centimeters underground. The badge's design, Koshkun explains, wasn't even conceived until 1782. Further muddying the waters, similar badges weren't used until the mid-1800s in the United States and later adopted by the US military in 1902. Adding to the mystery, the badge itself is crafted from a copper-zinc alloy, hinting at metalworking techniques beyond the capabilities of the Roman era. Analysis suggests the badge has been buried for 250 to 300 years. This discovery is a head-scratcher for archaeologists. No such badge has ever been found before in any excavation anywhere in the world. No one can explain how a three-century-old badge came to be in an unused and even forgotten area after the conquest of the Islamic armies in 639. The most logical explanation seems to be that it was dropped by a US citizen during a visit to Anatolia. However, the depth at which the badge was found raises doubts that it was dropped accidentally, suggesting that it was deliberately buried. But there is no explanation for how a US citizen found the long forgotten area and why they buried the badge there. The unanswered questions have led to a number of conspiracy theories, including time travel. These theories are largely fueled by the presence of the world's first Mithraeum, a temple dedicated to the god of infinite time Mithras in the site. The fact that representatives of the Rothschild and Rockefeller families have also visited the castle further fuels the conspiracy theories. The mystery of Mithras, considered the ancestor of orders such as the Illuminati and the Knights Templar, attracts the attention of the whole world. Some believe that secret societies like the Illuminati originated here. The discovery of the badge has sparked renewed interest in the Mithraic cult and its possible connections to modern secret societies. It remains to be seen whether any definitive answers will be found, but the mystery is sure to continue to fascinate and intrigue for years to come. Thanks for joining me on this exploration. The US badge's presence in this forgotten corner of history is definitely puzzling. What are your theories? Did someone drop it or is there something more at play? Share your thoughts in the comments below and let's crack this mystery together. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an adventure. Until next time, happy history hunting.